Hello and welcome to another episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who figures. So in today's video we will be unboxing three packages. We've got a very small package here and I've really got no idea what on earth this could be. We've also got two slightly larger packages and maybe this one's full of beer, apparently. Not very heavy though, maybe they're empty cans. Uh, so let's just crack on with it and uh, open up and see what we've got. Being a very kind YouTuber that I am, I'm going to make you all wait for the big ones. I'm going to do the small one first. So, let's have a little look. Let's put these to one side for now. It's not very heavy and it's, it's not rattling, so it really could be anything. Let's have a little look. So as you can see here, I have ordered the very rare and exclusive gold double whipping cooking and pouring cream for whatever it is you use that for. Only joking, there's got to be a Doctor Who stuff in here, surely. It's like playing pass a parcel. Right, so we get to the package at last, I think. Let's open up the newspaper and find out exactly what we've got. When the music stops, pass it to your friend. Ah, yes, here we go. Right, let's just clear all that out of the way. So, in bubble wrap, so let's just get him out. He's got a uh, lot of sellotape stuck to him as well, but we will open it and we will get him out. Right then, so here we have the seventh doctor, most importantly, with his umbrella. Now, this is the seventh doctor that came with the seventh doctor and TARDIS set, so I'm really happy to have this particular figure because, as you all know, it's very expensive to buy the seventh doctor and TARDIS sets. So I figured, no pun intended there, I would buy this one because it was only cheap and hopefully pick up the TARDIS at a later date. That being said, I have actually purchased the seventh doctor and TARDIS brand new in its box and I won't be opening it. So I do now just need to find the TARDIS to complete the collection and that will be uploaded in a video very soon. So be sure to check out my channel for future videos. Anyway, let's get back to this one. So here we have Seventh Doctor. One of my favorite variations of the Seventh Doctor, as you can see there, detailing of him is fantastic. And he's got that cheeky little grin on his face, which we all came to love uh, very much. So Seventh Doctor from Seventh Doctor and TARDIS set, complete with Broly. Okay, so moving on to this package now, let's open it up and find out what we've got. Okay, so inside this one we have some cardboard, which is always not useful. Throw that down there. We've got we've got all sorts of stuff going on in here. We've got some stuff in bubble wrap, and we've also got something in a Tesco carrier bag, which looks like a football. Comment down below if you can guess what this football thing is. And yes, it is related to Doctor Who. It's not a uh, large testicle or anything else like that. Comment down below before you watch this part of the video. Let's just get that box out of the way, which is now empty. I can't take the suspense any longer. Let's take it out of the packaging, or out of the bag, and see if the cat's out of the bag. Let's see what we've got. It is a Sontaran spaceship, of course. Right, so this is the Sontaran spaceship from, I'm gonna have to check inside here to make sure I know which story it come from. It's from the Sontaran experiment set, because I believe the Time Warrior set had the burgundy red color in there. So this is the, uh, I, this is so funny, isn't it? I mean, just look at it. It's, it's pretty awesome. It is absolutely huge and it, it struggles to fit on your shelves in all honesty. And the little toilet seat in there has always made me chuckle but really glad to have this back in the collection. This is another set that's extremely expensive these days, the uh, Sontaran set, both of them, the Time Warrior and the Experiment set. Now, this one, let me see, let me try and remember. I've got the Sontaran Experiment set, brand new in its box, just up there. So we're, we're a little bit closer to completing the unopened set. Uh, like I said previously with the Seventh Doctor, I will try and pick up the Fourth Doctor and Sontaran um, what's his name? It isn't Lynx, it is Field Major Steyer. I'll try and get him um, loose so I can add it to the collection. One thing to note about the uh, Sontaran spaceship is the underneath is pretty inventive. 
I like that. It gives it a bit more edge and a bit more realisticness, um, I suppose. Little jets that it kind of just fires off and, you know, scares scares old uh, Iron Grom. If, well, that would be the Time Warrior set, but you get what I mean. So, yeah, Sontaran spaceship. Very happy to have that back in the collection. And I've got to find somewhere to put it, but for now, I'll leave it there. So, you may be wondering, what's in the bubble wrap? Well, let's find out. First thing is SV7, there he is. Very good condition, which is uh, what I like to see. This is from Wave 1, which I do have mint in its packaging now, so this has basically completed my collection of SV7s, because you only need one SV7, and uh, he'll be displayed nicely in my collection. I'll leave him down like that. Oh, hello, what was that? I do believe that was a helmet of a Sontaran, it's fallen down. The reason I'm not too bothered about that is because there's loads in here and they are actually new series Sontarans, so I won't actually be displaying them at all. Um, there is actually more than more than a few. There's uh, there's three of them. There's three Sontarans in here and I'm not very good when it comes to remembering names from the new series, but I believe one of them is called... Oh, I don't even know to be honest. I keep thinking of Strax, but Strax isn't one of the names of, the, of these guys, but I'll take this, this one's lost its foot, but the foot does seem to just go back on again, but he's a little bit worse for wear. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't like the new series figures, because they're just, they just don't seem to be made as well, I don't know why, I mean, maybe these have been played with or something, um, I don't know, but if I just show you the in the uh, camera there, these two are definitely different, and this one here seems to have his helmet completely glued on, Comment down below if you know anything about these Sontarans, if uh, one of them came with a glued hat. I, I can't really remember. I did have a set with uh, Donna Noble and a few of these included, but it was such a long time ago. I can't really remember. And I'll tell you what, like I said, I don't really want them, so perhaps I'll uh, donate these Sontarans to uh, some of you lovely people out there. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you reckon about that. So there we have it, Sontarans. We'll leave them down there. Now getting back to what this episode is about, and that's me recollecting my classic Doctor Who action figures, we have a Vok robot, and technically speaking, it's D84, but it hasn't actually got any stickers on there, which is absolutely fine by me, because that's one thing that I managed to keep when I sold all my stuff was all the stickers, or the spare stickers, should I say, for these figures. So I'm gonna turn this one into D84, because I do believe I've got one already up on the shelf. I'm just having a little look for him now and it's D68 or something along those lines. So it'd be nice to have two uh, dumb class robots in the collection. So he can sit nice and nice and proudly there with his buddy SV7. And that isn't it. We've still got one more figure in the bubble wrap. And that is, very randomly, the sixth Doctor. Let's just get rid of all that bubble wrap. It's the sixth Doctor from Revelation of the Dark set. And it comes with his blue cape or gown which he wore in the episode, which I actually really like. It's um, a really nice colour and it kind of takes the uh, takes the edge off his rainbow coloured technicolor suit that he normally wears. Um, but yeah, again, the reason I bought this is simply because it's so expensive now buying the Dalek sets. I do have them all packaged up, mint in their boxes up behind me, which is great, but I am very reluctant to open any of them because they are so expensive. So I'm having to buy things individually now I do already have most of the Daleks from this set and now I've got the Sixth Doctor so now all I'm looking for is Davros uh, individually to have next to it and then I've completed the revelation of the Daleks set which is really really awesome. So there we have it, the Sixth Doctor. Doesn't come with a Sonic Lance or anything like that and I believe that's correct. I don't believe he uh, had any of that in the original set or even the episode. So I'm very happy to have the Sixth Doctor in blue cloak back in the collection basically where he belongs. Okay, so that just leaves us with one last parcel, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of at this point wish it was Stella, because I'm pretty thirsty, it's very hot, and I could do with a nice chilled Stella to uh, complete the day, but never mind. Let's get on and open it. Oh, how I got a pen knife, I'm not actually using it, I'm just manhandling it.
Okay, so I'm just gonna manhandle the rest of this box and get it open for you lot, and then we're gonna see what we've got inside it. And I'm very excited to tell you that there is something inside it, and it isn't just newspaper. It is brand new, mint in its packaging, never before been opened. It is Ace from Remembrance of the Daleks. There she is. Now, quite a funny story with this one, and that is I originally purchased it thinking I needed it, mint in its packaging. Then I realized I've already got it, mint in its packaging, so I decided, oh, I, I don't need this now. So I kind of got a little bit annoyed with myself. And then I thought, ah, but I haven't actually got this on the shelf, like loose. So therefore, I'm gonna open it when it comes. And then I had another realization that the very first realization was wrong and I don't actually have this minions packaging at the moment at all. So, cut a long story short. Whew. So this will be staying mint sealed in its packaging and it will be up there with the rest of my figures. And yeah, I'm really happy to finally have Ace back in the collection mint in their packaging. Oh, that took a lot of explaining. So with this figure is actually quite interesting because she does come with a whole load of different accessories you've got. Two arms, which is a bit random, Ace only had two arms, why has she got four? But no, they're interchangeable, so what you can do, you can take off her black jacket there and swap the arms out so she's got like her white arms showing. You can also have a rucksack on her there, and you've got cans of Nitro 9, you've got a baseball bat and a rocket launcher. I mean, quite honestly, what more could you ask for in accessories that come with a figure? This is more akin to like an old action man from back in the day so i'm really 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 impressed with this particular like release of character options released previously mentioned like i said i will be displaying um, this mint sealed in its packaging i'm still talking about it because i'm still deciding but i've just thought about it i need to buy this one two more times because technically then i can display her uh, with her jacket on and also display her with her jacket off with her white arms and then we can have two different ace versions among the Daleks and that's something that I'll probably do so this cost me 20 pounds so it's gonna cost me another 40 pounds I guess to buy two more and uh, I'll be doing that shortly I expect so that is ace from the remembrance of the Daleks set fantastic Okay, so that pretty much concludes this episode, everyone. I really wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you that have been viewing my videos and commenting and liking my videos lately. For some unknown reason, my viewing figures have gone up, my likes have gone up, and my subscriber count's gone up. Everything's going up, so I really just wanted to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to all of you. I feel like our community is growing. This is my Doctor Who collecting channel, which I wanted to share with you guys, and it seems to be working. Everyone's enjoying themselves. I really appreciate all the awesome comments everyone leaves me. So thank you very much. And I know this video was a bit of a mixed bag. We've got some very random figures here. We've got the seventh Doctor, okay with Ace, which kind of makes sense, I guess. We've got a Sontaran ship that came with new series Sontarans, which had a foot missing, but that's life of a Sontaran, I suppose. And we've also got Vok robots here that have absolutely nothing to do with Colin Baker, but technically, you could argue that Colin Baker's last surname is Baker and Tom Baker starred alongside the Vok robots originally, so there's a connection there somewhere. Anyway, that being said, I'm gonna shoot off now and hopefully find a can of beer to drink, because I still fancy a drink and I'm gonna hopefully find one anyway until then thanks again for watching look after each other and i will see you all soon in the next video bye for now